Got a problem? What a need? Is your mind in confusion? But something to fix? Looking for a solution? Gotta find what we need. Gotta go investigate it. Think it out. Go design. Get ready to create it. Check it in, check it over, try it out, go to test. If the problem is solved, this solution is best. Go and get up and go, go take no bastards. Like always, I am not alone. No, today I am joined by two more new texters, Lawrence and Zola. Yep, this is Techno Busters, the show where... Yep, Lawrence and Zola here yeah, are representing Ipilang Primary, the school that is trying to help the orphans of the Hope Center. You know what? You go, guys. So please, right now, give the texters at home a proper what's up. What's up? Yep, so we've got ourselves a... Eh? Problem! Yep, so the children at the orphanage have very little to play with and you know, just something to make them laugh. Their lives are sad and they need cheering up. Now the guys at Ipilang Primary want to help them but haven't got much money. Well, they want to make toys with simple moving parts. So we've gotten ourselves a... Eh? Meat! Yep, it is a technological process in action, but we need to find some material that we're going to use right away to try and make the children laugh. Remember when Sparto wrote us a letter and she wanted us to make something like Miles of Smiles? So we've gotten ourselves a... Eh? Opportunity! Right! So now that we've gotten ourselves an opportunity, what do we do before we design a solution? Investigate! Yep, so we want to make a difference and we've got an opportunity to do just that. We've decided to make toys that move, but now the only question is, where do we start? With wire cars. Well, that sounds a little bit difficult to start with. Mm. It will take some time to make the cars. We need something today already. For sure, my sister, which is why I'm sure you guys will be interested in this letter that we see from Bongi. Now, she was watching the show last week and she wrote in. And this is just one letter out of a dozen that we've been receiving from you guys. So we just want to say thank you very much. Now, it seems as if, as if a whole lot of you wants us to work together so that we can help the children who have lost their parents because of AIDS. I agree. Me Two. Monkey three. Well, now let's listen to what she has to say in her letter. And it goes a little something like this. Dear Techno Buses, I watch your show every time. I live in Durban, but we have the same problem here. There are so many AIDS orphans. This is terrible. Imagine being so tiny and having no mom and dad. Spotso is right. We have to do something so that the children can see that we care. Toys are a good idea. We must give them something to smile about. We must have miles of smiles. So we also talked about it at school and have decided that it is quick and cheap to make puppets from cardboard. We have made some designs and also clowns, so I have sent those too. I really hope that you read my letter on the show. Thank you, Boing. Well, you got your way, Bongi. You know, I just want to say thank you for your letters and your way, way, way cool designs. I like the clown. Yep, when we read Bongi's letter, the techno buses felt this is a good place to start it. Thick cardboard puppets that move. We can just use some cardboard from boxes. Yep. You see that split pin? That is what makes the legs move. That looks a pin. Let me show you. If you take these two pieces of cardboard, right? You put them together. You make a hole in them. Put the pin in. You split it. Voila! The system moves. Now the pin works as a pivot. What's it? Pivot. Pivot. A point around which a lever moves. Pivot. You see, a pin is a pivot. A point around which a lever moves. So then the lever is the cardboard. Good thinking, young lady. Lever. Lever. A single bar that has a pivot point. The lever is the linkage. Now, we can have quite a few linkages in our system. Link-ca-jes. Linkages. Made by linking two or more levers together. 
Linkages. So then it's a moving system. That is right, young man. Now pivots link the bars to make a system. It is quick, cheap, and easy. And I'm sure you guys know what we decided to do next. Design! Spot on, my brother. So while you guys get started on your designs, our techno busters took to the streets and took the cameras down to the Miles of Smiles gang, you know, to do a little bit more brainstorming. The idea we need to brainstorm today is what type of toy puppets will the children at the Hope Center like? Animals. Why do you say that? They can't have real animals at the Hope Center, so we can make them toy ones. Mm. They will like a dog with a tail that moves. And a lizard that walks. Mm. The girls will like dolls with moving legs and arms. The boys will like a crocodile with a mouth that can open. Mm. I'm a girl and I like crocodiles. I hate crocodiles. You do? They bite. Cool. So what else? I want to design some funny looking clowns and silly people. You do? It will make the children laugh and smile. We can make a whole circus. Well now the question is how do we make these moving puppets? Back to you Techno. Good question Techno Buster. So our mission in the workshop today, make cardboard toys that can move in all different ways. We're going to be using cardboard and split pins so they will be cheap to make for the Hope Center. We can make one for every child. So let's start. Mm-hmm. You know, now you know what? That is what I like to hear. So what do we have in front of us? Let's see. Cardboard, split pins, and all to make some holes with, scissors, craft knife, and paint and cookies. I'm going to make a funny man. Mm, okay. Well, you see, when you pull the string, the arms and legs will move. And I'm going to make a dog with a tail that wags. There's just one thing. What's an all? All. An all is a simple tool with a sharp point at the end. It can be used for making a hole in cardboard. Okay, so now I've got a board with quite a few levers and linkages on it. This will show you what kind of movements you will get when you pull or push one part of the system. So what is a linkage again? Link-ka-jiz. Linkages. Made by linking two or more levers together. Linkages. Just see how this board can move. Linkages can change the direction of a force or movement or they can make a few things move at once. So now, let's start making our toys. You found your cardboard and you've made your designs and now you cut out the different parts. These are the levers. Use a metal ruler because it is safer when pressing the craft knife close to the side of the ruler. Also, the metal is much tougher than plastic, so the craft knife does not cut the side of the ruler either. So once you have the right sizes of cardboard, you cut your designs out. Now using the awl, make holes where you want your split pins to be. These are the pivot points where you want your parts to move. Now in go the split pins. Good work, guys. I mean, they don't call you techno wizards for nothing. But now show me how your toys move. My dog moves from side to side. See, the dog is wagging its tail. Mine moves up and down. See the arms and legs. That is brilliant. Are you going to make something? You know what? I don't know. I was thinking of making a lizard. You know, the legs would work well as pivots. Now, have you guys seen the way a lizard moves? I know. A lizard moves its two legs on one side and the other two legs on the other side. You are so right. Cool. I'm going to make one of those next and make it a red monster lizard. Yep. Speaking of which, it is time that we start painting and decorating our toys that we've made. While we're doing that, check this out. Our techno buster headed to the toy shop to look at other toys and puppets that move when you pull or push something. Hello Techno Busters, I'm here at a local toy store to check out some toys that could help us find out a little bit more about pivots and linkages. Check this out. Check out this robot for instance. Its whole body has been constructed for movement with the uses of linkages and pivots. Cool, hey? How about this toy? It also uses linkages and pivots for movement. Now this makes it so much more fun when the children are playing with the toy.
take a look at this kiddie's pram, for instance. The whole thing folds and unfolds using lots and lots of linkages and pivots, making it so much easier for the children to play with. On that note, back to you at the workshop. Cool stuff if you've got a lot of money, yeah? I like my man toy better than those other toys. Hmm, which is why you've painted your man like a soldier. Yes, for one of the boys at the Hope Center. My dog is for little baby. Hmm, is that the reason why it's so nice and bright? For sure. Well, this toy has a moving system. Now it has a system because there are parts that are linked together to make it move on pivots. Lawrence and I will go to the Miles and Smiles Club to tell the others about what we've learned. Exactly. Communication is good. Without that, the technological process might not work. Someone might cut themselves if they don't use a metal ruler. <laughs> you are so right. <laughs> Yep, it has been so real, guys. You know what? I just can't wait to see the kids from the Hope Center smile when they get their toys. So if everyone at the Miles and Smiles Club makes a few, we'll have enough in a day. Technology in action. You know what? It is just so beautiful. So, guys, please keep on writing and send us your ideas. So for myself, the workshop, and the rest of the Techno Busters, until next time, bye!